Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Connor Terrio, and I'm a BIM Techno Specialist here at Great Tech. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to fix Y fittings in Revit. We're going to be looking at flow direction and how that affects our fittings. We'll talk about some editing tools. We'll look at why the sanitary T is not ideal. We'll take a look at some routing preferences and type properties and how they affect these fittings in your workflows. Hopefully these tips and tricks that I show you today will help you improve your uh, MEP workflows, piping layouts and plumbing layouts. And as always, if you have any questions, don't forget to reach out to me personally um, at my LinkedIn, uh, which you can see at the end of this video. Okay, without further ado, let's jump into Revit. Okay, so now that we're in Revit here, we're going to take a look at this little project that I've got. I've already linked in this little architectural model uh, that we'll use kind of for reference. But for right now, we're just going to model off onto space here. Um, I started this project with the typical out-of-the-box template. We can come here to new project. I just used a mechanical template here. Uh, close that down. And that's going to come in with some generic fittings, pipe settings, pipe systems already created for us. What we're going to take a look at first is how the flow direction affects how our fittings appear. So I'm just going to, like I said, just model off into space here. I'm going to come up to systems, go to pipe. We're going to model in some pipe. And the first one I'm going to model in from bottom to top. And then I'm going to put a 45, coming in at 45 here. And we can see we've got a Y fitting, or what looks like a Y fitting in here. Um, now look what happens when I model it in this pipe, top to bottom. Right click, create similar, do the exact same thing. Escape once, come in on an angle. Okay, our fitting looks a little bit differently. Now we've got what looks like a Y. Right? This kind of looks like a sanitary T, and this kind of looks like a Y. Um, they're actually both Ys. Well, sorry, both sanitary Ts. So if I select on this one, we can see in the type selector, this is a reducing sanitary T. This one here is also a reducing sanitary T. So what I'm going to show you next is how we can get a Y fitting in here uh, automatically, essentially the goal of this. We're also going to bring in what's called a combination fitting as well. Now, in order to get this one to look like what we have on the right-hand side, what we can do is we can simply come in here, delete this one, use our modifying tools up here in the modifying tab, connect this in, select on our little bend here, click on that plus sign, and that'll turn it into, again, sanitary T, but in the proper orientation. So right now, the flow direction, what we previously saw, the flow direction was kind of grabbing it. It was, it was twisting this, this fitting around, making it look a little funky, right? So the flow direction, Revit is recognizing the flow direction here, um, and it's putting in the correct fitting in the, in the correct location. Whereas we drew it this way, it was incorrect. So now what I'd like to do is I'd like to bring in some of those new fittings that I was talking about. We're going to right click create similar again. I'm going to model in another one. And we're going to come in at a 90 on this one. And as you can see, it puts in, as expected, a reducing sanitary T. And what we're going to do is we're going to come up and go to insert load family. And we're going to go to DWV. And we're going to bring in a combination eighth bend. and a Y reducing. Two commonly used fittings here in uh, plumbing and piping. And we can always double check those fittings, make sure we loaded them in. We should be able to find them here in our pipe fittings list in our project browser. For this example that we've got on screen, I'm just gonna select the existing sanitary T 
And I want to change this to my Y combination eighth bend. So I could do that. Now this is what you would typically model as an inter international standard. Um, is this Y fitting? You wouldn't put in, or sorry, the eighth bend combination here. You wouldn't put in that sanitary T what we had before, right? This this would not be recognized. So I would come in, select it, put in that eighth bend. Now uh, what about our Y fitting? So we're gonna. Do the exact same thing in here, except we're going to come in not at a 90. We're going to come in more at a 45. And you can see it puts in a sanitary T. I want to change that to our Y fitting. Now, only issue with that is we actually don't see it, right? It's only recognizing that eighth bend and the sanitary, the reducing T. So what we're going to do is we're going to find it in our project browser down here. Forty-five degree Y. This is what I was looking for. We're going to expand that, drag that across, and let's just pop that into one of these pipes here. And there it is. There. We're actually going to go edit this family. We're now in the family environment here, family editing environment. I'm going to come up, go to family types. Uh, sorry, I was looking for family categories and parameters. And this is where we can come and we can see our part type. So if you caught one of my previous videos on discussing the part type with a P-trap, uh, same location we're going to here is the family categories and parameters. We're coming here, we're going to change the part type from Y to a T. And if we change it to a T, load this back in. We can now select on this T fitting and we should be able to see it in the drop down list here. So now we've got that Y45 degree reducing. Perfect. That's what we're looking for. So next what I'd like to show you is wouldn't it be nice if we could place this combination eighth bend automatically? So how do we get it to place automatically? Because um, so first we had to model in that reducing sanitary T and select the family and then we could change it in the type selector. So how do we model that and get that to place automatically? We're gonna place this one more time, model in some more pipe. Well, I guess I could show you over here. We're going to select on our pipe actually, and we're going to go to edit type. Routing preferences is where we can set what fittings go in automatically. So come in here, we're going to go to edit. And we can see we've got a sanitary reducing T here under the junction. So we're going to change that to our combination eighth bend. And we're also going to add the reducing 45 degree reducing Y as well. Change the min size to all for both of them and then press OK. Press OK through this type properties menu as well. Now we can go model off onto the side and let's test this out. Again coming in at 90. Wonderful. There it is. Okay, now let's try this again. We're, we're going to come in at a 45. Come in at a 45. And we're seem to be getting some errors here. So um, you can see it's error it's giving me is Y combination eighth bend. So it's trying to put in the combination eighth bend. Um, and that's because this eighth bend combination fitting here is kind of flexible. It can kind of be, be placed in multiple angles. It doesn't have to be placed at the 90. So let's take a look at this fitting, deep dive into this fan, fitting real quick. We're going to select it, go to edit family. And I only want this essentially to be, only want this family. Let me get back to my project here. 
only want this eighth bend to come in when we're coming in at a 90. If we're coming in at a 45, I want it to put in the Y 45 degree. And so that's what I'm trying to get here. So to do that, I'm going to come in and, and take a look at this Y fitting family here, this combination. And we're going to come back up to our family types. Drag this across for you. And as you can see, there's a ton of different um, parameters built in here. Um, the one we're looking for is angle. So under dimensions here, we're looking at angle. And we're going to change this to um, a type property instead of an instance. So if we come in here right now, this is an instance. We're going to go here to edit. We're going to change this to a type property. Press OK. Leave that at 90. Angle 2, we're going to change that as well. Make that a type property. And we're going to press OK. Let's load this back into the project and see if that helps. I'm going to disconnect this one here. That's fine. We're going to have to redo that. Now when I come in, I put this in at a 45. Now it puts in that 45 degree reducing instead of trying to put in the combination eighth bend. Okay, nice and smooth. So just as a little summary on some of the things that we touched on in this short um, piping and plumbing tip. Um, we first took a look at the flow direction, how that affect, affects our, our fittings, right? And then we looked at how you can transition from these generic T, sanitary T's into getting the correct industry standard fittings in there and changing those routing preferences. So uh, we took a look at flow direction. We took a look at some editing tools, the ideal sanitary fittings and then the routing preferences on how to get those in automatically. Okay, so again, don't hesitate to reach out to myself. Um, my LinkedIn is going to be on the next slide popping up shortly. Um, that's all I've got for you guys today. Hopefully I see you in the next video.